What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another round of Eight Nights of Fright. So we're in movie number six in the inaugural run of my new Halloween series. And what am I talking about tonight? It, but not the It movies. It chapter one, It chapter two. No, this is It. The original made-for-TV miniseries released in 1990. This was a movie that a lot of 90s kids grew up with. And this was one I had never seen before. I was intrigued to seeing the film, especially after seeing the two recent It films. I actually intentionally did not watch the old It because I wanted to see the story with a fresh mind not having not read the book or anything like that. I wanted to experience both movies with a fresh mind, the way it was being adapted. So now I have seen the It miniseries. So if you've seen the newer It films, it's pretty much the same premise. It actually combines the entirety of the source material into one TV event. I think it was split into two episodes, but it's been edited into, together into a three hour film which is what I watched it as. And it's essentially both It Chapter 1 and It Chapter 2 condensed into one movie. Where you got uh, these children who meet in Derry, Maine. They form the Losers Club. And they take on Pennywise, a dancing clown. And then they also face him again as adults 30 years later. Unlike the new It, though, much like in the original source material... When they were kids, the setting was in the 1950s compared to the 80s setting in the new film, and meaning the, mo the adult scenes were set at the time in its present day. I do like the 50s aesthetic for one thing in the It miniseries. I thought that was pretty cool. Well, it's cool seeing you know, the 50s aesthetic in the It miniseries and the 80s aesthetic in It Chapter 1. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'm going to say, uh, I actually liked the first half of the movie, honestly. It wasn't great or anything. Uh, the movie definitely felt like a downgrade because, you know, the two It films at Chapter 1, of course, you know, they were rated R. They definitely embraced its material a lot more. They got around with a lot more stuff with that R rating, with its violence and stuff like that, so... The, this film felt like a downgrade, but it was still campy fun for the most part. I enjoyed the first half, especially when you see the Losers Club as kids. Which, much like in the films, It Chapter 1 is better than It Chapter 2. And I do like that angle of the film with the kids. That was a lot of fun. The child actors were pretty good. It even had Seth Green in the film as well. He played Richie in this. I didn't realize that. And I like Seth Green. There, there were some creative stuff in the film. I, I actually did jump at one jump scare. I was kind of surprised by that. Uh, it was definitely a lot goofier compared to It, the movie, but I still had a lot of fun with it. And a, a lot of that had to do with Tim Curry playing Pennywise, who is easily the best thing of this movie. Tim Curry is just amazing as Pennywise the Clown. I don't think he matches Bill Skarsgård, who is definitely a lot creepier in the role. But I just love how deliciously over the top Tim Curry is in the role. He can come off as physically scary, while also being wildly entertaining at the same time. And he has one of the funniest laughs I've ever heard, what Tim Curry does. That, ha 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 The movie does take a dip in the second half, though. Unlike It Chapter 2, which... I actually do like It Chapter 2, by the way. I thought it was a solid sequel. I get that it wasn't as beloved as the first, but I actually did enjoy It Chapter 2 when I saw it in theaters. The adult section in it, the miniseries, though, took a huge step down compared to the first half of the film, which is saying something, because you got some great actors playing the adult versions of these characters. You got... Richard Thomas from the Waltons fame, and John River, and you got Annette O'Toole from Smallville. Great actors playing some of these characters, but 
I just did not get into the adult counterparts compared to the kid versions of these characters. Now, like I said, there's good actors playing these characters, but it just turned into like this sappy melodrama with cringy dialogue, and Pennywise was hardly in the second half of the film compared to in the first half of the film, and... You know how the finale of it, the It story has Pennywise as a spider? Which is a pretty divisive ending for the movie. And I actually enjoyed that in It Chapter 2. I thought it was goofy fun. I loved it in It Chapter 2. Well, you get to that in the miniseries. And I think it lost its entire credibility. Like, I couldn't take the movie seriously anymore. Like, the effect is awful. It doesn't even look convincing as a spider. Like, I know it's practical effects, but it's, like, cheap practical effects. And, like, even the actors who worked on the movie, even they couldn't take the scene seriously either. It was just a big mess, and it kind of overall ruined the film for me. I think if maybe this was an extended film with a higher budget, or if they went full R on this thing and made it a feature film instead of making it a... TV film and making it PG at best. I think this version would have been a lot better. I think it, it, you could have tweaked the script a little bit. I will I will say I was impressed by some of the blood effects used in this, especially for a TV production that does have some pretty solid gore in there, which I was impressed by. But overall, I did find this mini series a bit of a disappointment. I, I wasn't expecting much going in, but I was pleasantly surprised, like I said, by that first half of the film with the kids. I actually do enjoy these set of kids. Now, I think the kids in It Chapter 1 are better, but the actors they got for these characters were pretty solid, and I enjoyed a lot of the performances, and it was pretty fun. I didn't care for uh, the bully character near as much. He definitely was more cartoonish here compared to in It Chapter 1, where he was fleshed out a lot more, but... I still enjoyed the overall 50s vibe of the miniseries, and it was still campy fun. This is a miniseries that overall, it has some good moments in there. I like the first half. Tim Curry as Pennywise is just awesome, but it took a huge step down in the second half, and I think it's more disappointing than It Chapter 2, which, again, I actually liked It Chapter 2. So what am I going to rate it, the 1990 miniseries? I'm going to be rating it a 2.5 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 42 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of it, the 1990 miniseries. This is film number 6 in my 2020 edition of 8 Nights of Fright. My first annual Halloween special on my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I got two more reviews left to cover in this series, so be on the lookout for those reviews coming very, very soon before October 31st. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you need to catch up on the previous reviews I've done in my Eight Nights of Fright series, I will leave a link down in the description below for that playlist where you can catch up. On my past videos, I've reviewed films like The Invisible Man, Rosemary's Baby, The Omen, I did a vlog video on Beetlejuice. There's definitely some fun reviews you can check out. So definitely check that playlist in the description below where you can see more. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of my last two videos in this year's series. And if you've seen it, the 1990 miniseries, let me know down in the comments below would you follow the film? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Ha 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 ha.